Title, Clifton Chaos, When Bullets Fly and the Cops Return Fire. TL, DR, Man in Clifton Goes All Hollywood Action Scene Firing at Police, They Didn't Just Grab Popcorn, They Fired Back, and He's Down. Whose side of the story haven't we heard yet? It was a typical Thursday evening in Clifton, until it wasn't. On Frankfurt Avenue, a scene straight out of a Michael Bay movie unfolded. No explosions or CGI, but real-life drama involving a man, some firepower, and the Louisville Metro Police. Just imagine, you're out grabbing your fav Starbucks or maybe taking your dog for a walk when boom. A man suddenly transforms the mundane evening into an adrenaline-fueled episode, firing shots at the police. Most of us would probably duck for cover, or maybe snap a cheeky Insta story, no judgment. But the police. They took things into their own hands. Okay, let's play detective for a second. Why was he firing at the officers? Was it a wrong place at the wrong time scenario or something deeper? The police, not ones to just sit back and let their uniforms get new whole designs, they're quite attached to their current look, fired back. Result. The shooter met an abrupt end. It's tragic, it's shocking, and it leaves a myriad of questions in its wake. Now, it's easy to jump on the bandwagon and take sides. Oh, the police were just doing their job. Oh, but why did they have to shoot him? Dash, we've heard the debates and arguments a million times. But what if we paused and thought about the bigger picture? Are we addressing the root cause of such incidents? Is this indicative of a larger problem in society, whether it be mental health, gun control, or police training? Some might say, dude, this is just one isolated incident. Chill. Maybe they're right. Or maybe, just maybe, it's a microcosm of larger, pressing issues. Personal experiences can shed light on these situations. Like remember the time you lashed out because you had a bad day, and everyone just assumed you were being dramatic. Or when your friend totally misunderstood a text because they didn't have the full context. Point is, there's always more to a story than meets the eye. Disclaimer, this article does not intend to offer any recommendations, suggestions, or advice. Always think critically, and do your own research. So, as the dust settles on Frankfurt Avenue and the flash of police lights fade, what's left is reflection. Reflection on the incident, reflection on society, and reflection on how we, as individuals, play a part in it. After all, isn't it time we start being a part of the solution, rather than just commentators from the sidelines? Question to ponder, how would you feel if you were in the middle of that situation? And more importantly, what steps can we take to ensure this doesn't become a norm?